Hello students, welcome back to the fifth video of this playlist. So in this video, uh, we will be solving the fifth question from the latest paper of Pure Mathematics 3, which is October 2024 paper. So let's see what's the question number four, question, question number five from this paper is about. Okay, so basically, the concepts behind question number five it's from uh, the trigonometric double angle formula that has been discussed in chapter number four of your pure mathematics three textbook also we need concepts from uh, trigonometric identities that is chapter number three of your pure mathematics three textbook so let's get started with question number four okay Part A is asking to show that sine 3x can be written in the form p sine x plus q sine cube x where p and q are constants to be found. Okay, so we need to expand sine 3x and represent it in what? This form. Okay, so part A, sine 3x. Sine 3x can be written as what? Sine 2x plus x. Why I am doing this? in order to apply the double angle formula okay so sine a plus b is what sine a cos b it is sine 2 x cos x sine a cos b plus cos a sine b okay where this is 2x is a and x is what b okay now sine 2 x can be written as what 2 sine x cos x right so 2 sine x cos squared x plus cos 2x can be written as what? Cos squared x minus sine squared x. So basically cos squared x is cos squared x minus sine squared x can be written as what? 1 minus 2 sine squared x. Okay? 2 sine squared x times what? Sine x. Now you just expand the bracket. Now the question is what I did here? You can see that the expression that they asked to show it has only sign x so our main aim should be to convert all the trigonometric identities or all the trigonometric ratios to sine x that's what exactly I'm doing okay converted cos 2x to sine x using 1 minus 2 sine squared x now only cos squared x is remaining here so we will do the same approach for that cos square x is what 1 minus sine squared x plus what sine x minus 2 sine cube x okay so now multiply the bracket so 2 sine x minus 2 sine cube x plus sine x minus 2 sine cube x okay so what we can write 2 sine x plus sine x that would give you 3 sine x minus 4 sine cube x and that's what exactly the format the question has looked for isn't it so the value for p it is what 3 and the value for q this is what negative 4 that's it okay so we have showed successfully that sine 3x can be written in the form p sine x plus q sine cube x that's it okay next is part b part b is asking hence or otherwise hence or otherwise that means we need to use that we have derived the derivation that we did in part a to solve for theta greater than 0 less than or equal 360 degree within this interval that the equation 2 sine 3 theta equals to 5 sine 2 theta okay we need to solve this given trigonometric equation giving your answers in degrees to one decimal place as appropriate okay fine so we need to solve this so 2 sine 3 theta equals to 5 sine 2 theta right so just in part a we showed sine 3 theta right 3x though but here they ask they say 3 theta so 3 theta can be written as 3 sine theta minus 4 sine cube what theta okay so for part b 
in place of sine 3 theta what we will write we will write 2 times what 3 sine theta minus 4 sine cube theta this is equals what 5 sine 2 theta so 5 sine 2 theta can be written as 5 times what 2 sine theta cos theta isn't it so what you will get uh, what we will get here we will get uh, multiply the bracket 6 sine theta minus 8 sine cube theta equals to what 10 sine theta cos theta isn't it okay fine so what we can do next look uh, take all the terms to the left side so okay take all the uh, terms to the right side so you'll get 8 sine cube theta minus 6 sine theta plus 10 sine theta cos theta equals what 0 okay so from here we can take 2 sine theta common isn't it yes we can take 2 sine theta common so if you do so what we will what will be remaining here 4 sine squared theta negative 3 right plus 5 cos theta equals to what 0 fine okay so either we will get sine theta equals to 0 or 4 sine squared theta right so 4 sine squared theta we have cos theta there so convert this sine square theta to cos square theta so that we can have same uh, trigonometric ratios in the equation. Okay. So for sine square theta, sine square theta can be written as what? 1 minus cos square theta, right? So 1 minus cos squared theta minus 3 plus 5 cos theta equals to what? 0. Okay. Now multiply the brackets. What you will get? Uh, either sine theta equals to 0 or that was what 4 times 1 minus cos square theta right so 4 minus 4 cos squared theta okay got okay 4 minus 4 cos squared theta 4 minus 4 cos squared theta and then okay and then uh, 4 minus 4 cos squared theta minus 3 plus 5 cos theta. Okay. Minus 3 plus 5 cos theta. This is equals 0. Okay. So, what we can do? Uh, we can multiply both sides by negative 1. So, we'll get 4 cos squared theta minus 5 cos theta. 4 minus 3 is what? 1. So minus 1 equals to 0. Now middle term. How, <coughs> okay, sorry. How can we do the middle term? 4 cos squared theta. Uh, negative. Okay. We want to have negative 5 there. So, okay. Let's use the quadratic formula. Okay. Middle term isn't possible here. So minus b plus minus squared of what? b squared. That is 25. 25. A minus 4 as is so 25 minus 4 times minus 1 it becomes plus so 25 plus 16 is square root of 41 plus minus square root of 41 over what twice of a which is 8 okay so consider which one is greater than 1 and which one is uh, less than negative 1 because we know that cos theta is always between negative 1 to positive 1. So 5 plus square root of 41 over 8. It's 1.42, which is greater than 1. So it is not acceptable. So only accept acceptable is 5 minus square root of 41 over what? 8. This is only what? Acceptable. So possible values for theta against the sine theta. The range is what? The range is from 0 to 360 degree. But 
theta can be zero, right? But it can be 360 degree. For for this one, we get uh, zero degree. Zero degree is not acceptable. Since zero degree is zero, 90 degrees one, 180 man, 180 is zero. So 180 is acceptable. 180 degree and another is what? 360 degree. Okay. And use the cast diagram to figure out the possible values for theta against the cos theta. Okay. So C A S T. The value of cos theta is what? Negative. 5 minus square root of 41 over 8. That is basically negative 0 0.175 something. So cos inverse answer that is 100.1 degree. Okay. How many decimal places they wanted here? Uh, they wanted to one decimal place. Okay. So you will get 100.1 degree. This is one possible value. And another one, 100.1 comes where? It comes here in the second quadrant because in the second quadrant, the value of cos theta is what? Negative. So get the principal value, principal angle. Principal angle is what? 180 minus 100.1 that you got. This is 79.89 something. Okay. So uh, next possible value for theta, it's where? It's basically on the third quadrant, isn't it? It's on the third quadrant here. Here cos theta is negative. So this is what? This is the principal angle. So here this is the principal angle equal, right? So we just need to add 180 degree with that. Okay. So plus 180, you'll get 259. 259. One decimal place is 0.9 degree. These are the four possible values for theta as a solution to the equation 2 sine 3 theta equals to 5 sine 2 theta. And that's what exactly part B of question number 5 has asked for.